Hello, this is Corporal Rivet from uh, Honey Badger Boondocking, and uh, I'm gonna show you my one of my first carving projects, which is gonna be a kuksa. I'm gonna make the kuksa out of some wood that I have in my downstairs in the basement. It's actually a, a king size bed frame that's no longer needed, and. Uh, so I'm going to, rather than throw it out because it's just a whole lot of good wood, I'm going to carve it up into different projects. And my first project is going to be a kooksa. So the first piece was the, one of the tops of one of the four posts on the bed. And so this looked like a good beginning. So I, I sawed it in half here. This, I'll make something else out of this. This is going to be the kooksa. I sawed the top off here, and this will be the cup. Here's the beginnings of the of the cup. Uh, I started the the hole there with a knife that uh, one of my daughters uh, had bought for me. I have previously shown you this knife in in uh, another video. It's the uh, the Gracie knife. Uh, I'll put a link to this knife in my in my <clears throat> in the description in case you're interested in this knife. Um, Gracie makes a great knife. It's a Damascus steel, high carbon Damascus steel. And it's, I believe it's hardened to a 58 to 60 Rockwell. So it's a very good knife. Uh, it came pretty sharp. However, I prefer a convex grind on my blades. So I reprofiled the blade with a convex grind, which I just like better. Uh, if you're interested in how to do a convex grind, you can look that up on uh, YouTube. That's that's where I learned to uh, to do it. Uh, maybe I can put a link to that in the description uh, to that particular video. Um, uh, we'll see. I'm kind of new at the YouTube thing, so I'm a little clumsy with it. Anyway, this is the beginnings of my kuksa. The hole I started like this which I've seen people on YouTube do. So I'll start that like that. And uh, when it gets too deep, I have a hook knife coming from uh, Amazon and uh, I'll finish the, the cup with, uh, the hook, with the hook knife. The handle will be this piece that I took off like this. I'll carve it to fit snug and then I'll wood glue it together. And that will be the first kooksa. So, when I have something more to show you, I'll get back to you. But for now, this is Corporal Rivet from Honey Badger Bushcrafting, and I am good to go. So here's the beginning of the kooksa. Uh This is what I cut off. That'll be the that'll be the bottom, the sides. And the whole of the cup will be uh, in here. And I'll start out, you know, drilling the hole like this and getting it bigger as we go. And then when it gets deep enough, uh, I'll switch to a hook knife, uh, which I have coming from Amazon. By the time I get this hole big enough, I'll be ready for the hook, the hook knife. So there we go. There's the beginning. Um, the handle will be this here on the side and I'll carve it down to mate in properly. So it'll, you know, it'll, it'll fit nicely and uh, I'll wood glue it and that'll, that'll be the kooksa. That'll be the first kooksa like that. So there you go. So, uh, just to show you a little progress on the cup, um, the kooksa that I'm carving out of a bed post, part of a bed post for a king king size frame, a little bit deeper. I've switched knives to something that's a little easier to handle. Uh, this is actually a carving knife that I'm using now. This guy right here, so I can can get in there and it's really sharp it's a lot easier to, to handle 
it's a left-handed knife. Uh, I'm left-handed, so I have a left-handed carving knife. Whenever I can get left-handed tools, especially knives, that's what I do. So, as you can see, this, so this is this is how I'm doing it. I'm just gonna work my way around like this. Make the hole as big as I can. And in preparation for my uh, um, hook knife coming from Amazon. All right, so that's all I really wanted to show you right now. Uh, that's about it. And I'll show you more later. So this is the progress I've made on my Kuxa. So the depth of this is about three and an eighth inch. And I'm um, a little more than two inches down. And uh, of course I have to, um, you know, I, I wanna hollow out the sides here more and wide it to get close to the base. Uh, so this little knife here that you see, this has been doing most of the work actually. I started out with my belt knife and uh, for some of the deeper, finer work, I've been using this. Uh, I've got a hook knife coming from Amazon. I haven't got it yet. I hope it works as I think it's gonna work. Uh, but, well, that's the progress that I have so far, and uh, I'll show you more later. So here's a little uh, a, a shot of some progress I made while I was carving the kuksa. You can see the hole is a little bit uh, wider and deeper. Um, and I've done this with that Japanese carving knife. Uh, that I had so again this is just to show you a little more progress that's all all right so again here's uh, one more picture a little bit further down uh, as you can see it's kind of going down in a con conical way uh, that's pretty much how it's going so far here's another view of uh, the same thing, uh, just a different view. Again, going down with just a just a carving knife, no special tools. Again, another view, uh, a little bit more progress this time, much deeper. Still done with just that little black knife uh, that I showed you earlier. Still waiting for my uh, hook knife. Hope it comes really soon. All right, here's a little bit closer view of the previous shot. Uh, pretty rough, but uh, like I say, once I get my kooksa, uh, not my kooksa, once I get my hook knife, I'll fix that up nicely. Here's a shot of the little knife that I did most of the work with uh, all the way to the bottom um, before I got my hook knife from uh, Amazon. Here's a shot of the two knives that uh, I used. The one on the left I started out the, uh, the hole and the one on the right I got it pretty much three quarters of the way done with that knife. Here's a shot of the Kuksa, a little bit more refined, still some carving left to be done. I believe at this point I had received my, my, uh, my hook knife, so that's what that looks like. Uh, another shot of the Kuksa. Uh, more work done with the hook knife. A little bit more smoother, a little bit more rounded, a little more carving done on the edges. Here's a side shot of the Kuksa. I've actually uh, glued on the handle. I had to change my idea about how I was going to put the handle on in the first place. Uh, I couldn't quite carve it properly, so I changed my direction. 
here's another shot of the Kuxa. Uh, different angle, just kind of showing you how it looks from this view. The bowl is pretty much done, the handle is glued down, and uh, that's how it ended up. So that's the, the final Kuxa. Like I say, I changed my uh, direction on uh, attaching the handle because I, I couldn't carve it accurately enough. This is my first one, so I wasn't very good at the carving. I ended up flattening out uh, the side and just attaching the handle. I think late, next, next one I do, I'll just uh, carve the handle square and cut out a square, a square uh, notch and just fit it in like that. Hey, Corporal Rivet here, uh, coming to you from uh, Honey Badger Boondocking down in my boondocking cave. Uh, thanks for watching uh, me make my first kooksa out of some wood that I had in the basement, just trying to put it to good use. And um, the end result really uh, didn't work out too good because I tried to drink some coffee out of this cup and like the first cup I had was okay and uh, the second cup I had actually leaked through so um, in a sense it didn't really work but that's okay I've got the kooksa on my desk upstairs in my uh, bedroom uh, and I you know I put little things in there like uh, actually right now I have a bunch of uh, pencils and, and pens in there um, however I think that uh, I kind of had a feeling that wasn't going to work because when I got down to the end and I sanded the inside, I could see that the piece of wood that I had chosen wasn't a solid piece of wood, that it was actually a composite uh, piece of wood. It was like a few pieces of wood, maybe four or more pieces of wood that had been glued and compressed together at the factory, uh, which you never would know until you start digging into the kooksa with a knife, uh, into the wood with a knife. So anyway, I wouldn't recommend using that kind of wood for kooksas because, uh, like I say, the wood was a composite piece. It was glued together, and glued and pressed together. I don't know what the glue was, so maybe not a good I idea to use wood like that for any kind of food items. So anyway, that, that's, my, uh, that's my kooksa story, and thanks for watching, and for now, this is Honey, this is Corporal Rivet from Honey Badger Boondocking, and I am good to go.